What's going on, everybody? This is Norsendo G here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it. We're back with another video today. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the world, the Kingdom of Italy, Codex Entry 5 out of 13 in Section 5 of Codex. Let's listen to it, then we'll get more into the background through Wiki. Wiki. Italy had been an ally of Germany and Austria Hungary before the war. But when it broke out in 1914, they claimed that the alliance was only a defensive one, and Italy had no obligation to join an offensive war. However, one year later, Italy joined the war siding with the Allies, hoping to reclaim lost Italian lands that were now part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The Italian front was characterized by mountains. The amount of soldiers wounded compared to killed was far greater there than other fronts because stray bullets would splinter the rock into deadly projectiles that were particularly dangerous to eyes and faces. Ooh. Ooh. That's what we gotta watch out for. We gotta watch out for the bullet breaking and splitting into smaller pieces at the speed of a bullet going right into people's eyes, faces. Now let's go to the Microsoft. The Kingdom of Italy wiki people also ask when did Italy enter world war one well we'll see i don't know why i did that but when did Italy, when did Italy enter world war one um about what in italian entry into the war may 23rd 1915 Having declared a policy of neutrality on the outset of the war on August 2nd, 1914, the Italian government, the Italian government was eventually persuaded to enter the war on the side of the Allies on May 15th. What? May 1915. When did Italy become Italy? Modern Italy became a national nation state during the Risgormiento, Risgor, Risorgimento. On March 17th, 1861, most of the states of the Italian peninsula and the kingdom of the two Sicilies were united under King Victor Emmanuel II of the House of Savoy, Hit Herto King of Sardinia, a realm that included Piedmont, when it had become a democratic republic. On June 2nd, 1946, many Italians voted in referendum to rid of the monarchy and for the country to become a republic, the public was hostile to the monarchy, which had supported Benito Mussolini's rule. And last, who was later of Italy during World War I? Italy's representative in the Paris Peace Conference, which has led to the Versailles Treaty, was Premier Vittor Vittorio Emmanuel Orlando. Considered to be one of the big four with President Woodrow Wilson of the United States, Prime Minister David Lloyd George of the United Kingdom, and Premier George's Clemenceau of the French area. Let's go see the Kingdom of Italy during 18, 18, 19, 1918. Let's see. Do, 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 right here. World War One and the failure of the liberal state. Prelude to the war. Internal dilemma. In the in the lead up to the war, World War One, the Kingdom of Italy faced a number of short term and long term problems in determining the Allies and the objectives. Italy's recent success in occupying Libya as a result of the Italo-Turkish War had sparked tension with its Triple Alliance allies, the German Empire and the Austria-Hungary. -Hung because both countries had been seeking closer relations with the Ottoman Turkish Empire. In Munich, the Germans reacted to Italy's aggression by singing anti-Italian songs. Italian in Italy's relations with the French Third Republic also were in bad shape. France felt, felt betrayed by Italy's support of Prussia in the Franco-Prussian War, opening the possibility of war erupting between the two countries. Italy's relations with the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland had also been impaired by constant Italian demands for more recognition in this international stage following the occupation of Libya and its demands that other nations accept its spheres of influence in East Africa and the Mediterranean. 
In the Mediterranean, Italy's relations with the Kingdom of Greece were aggravated when Italy occupied Greek popular the Doncan the Dodecanese land islands, including Rhodes, from 1912 to 1914. These islands had been formerly controlled by the Ottoman, Ottoman Empire. Italy and Greece were also in open rivalry over the desire to occupy Albania. King Emmanuel III himself was uneasy about Italy pursuing distant colonial adventures and said that Italy should prepare to take back Italian populated land from Austria Hungary as the completion of the Risorgimento. This idea put Italy at odds with Austria Hungary. A major hindrance to its Italy's decision on to what about the war was the pol political instability throughout Italy in 1914. After the formation of the government of Prime Minister Antonio Salandra in March of 1914, the government attempted to win the support of nationalists and move to the political right. At the same time, the left became more repulsed by the government after the killing of three anti military militarist demonstrators in June. Many elements of the left, including syndicates, syndicate, syndicalists, republicans, and anarchists, protested against the Italian Socialist Party, declared a general strike in Italy. The protests ensued, ensued became known as Red Week, as leftists rioted and by various acts of civil disobedience occurred in major cities and small towns, such as seizing railways, stations, cutting telephone wires, and burning tax registers. Hmm. However, only two days later was the strike was officially called off. Through this, though the civil strife continued, militarist, militarist nationalists and anti-militarist leftists fought in the streets until the Italian Royal Army forcefully restored calm after having a, used thousands of men to put down the various protesting forces. Following the invasion of Serbia by Austria-Hungary in 1914, World War One broke out. Despite Italy's official alliance with the German Empire and the, and the Triple Alliance, she initially remained neutral, claiming that the Triple Alliance was only for defensive purposes only. Right here is it's Italy's colonial positions at the time of the outbreak of World War One. The area between the British and Egypt and the firmly held Italian town of territories is the region of southern Cyrenaica, which was under dispute of ownership between Italy and the United Kingdom. So all red was Italy and the United Kingdom and allies. Uh, this little red dot all the way out here where Japan, I think this is Japan over here, or Moscow. Yeah, I don't know why I said Japan. Japan's like down here. This is like Russia area, sort of. I I can't 100% see. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, this this little small dot over here, we have the edge of the eastern borders of Africa, North Africa, uh, Italy, this little area over here, probably part of Italy, and these two odd circles, like, there's no, nothing in the middle, just around it, but, oh well, um, Damn, this is a lot. Italy's war effort. Wait, first I'm going to go with, who's this? Gabriel de Annunzio, national poet of Italy and a prominent nationalist revolutionary who was a supporter of the Italian Italy joining first action in the First World War. Wow, okay. <sighs> that was a lot. Um, So I'm going to just... Like, go over what they did. I'm not going to read everything. There's a picture of Generalissimo Luigi Cadorna, the man to the left of two officers to whom he is speaking, this guy right here, while visiting British batteries during World War One. Alright, so, Ital Italy's war front, war effort. So, Darn, Austria, Hungary's army was spread to cover its fronts with Serbia and Russia. Italy had numerical superiority against the Austria-Hungarian -Hung Empire. Luigi Canorda insisted on dangerous frontal assaults against Austria-Hungary and attempt to occupy the Slo 
Benin Plateau and Lujubanya. Lujubuljana. Um, not far away from Vienna. After 11 failed offensive and enormous loss of life, the Italian campaign was to take Vienna collapsed. Upon entering the war, uh, Italian had forces of 400,000 men, bordered outnumbered the Austrian Germans 4 to 1. Um, Austrian uh, Hungarian army along the Alpine foothills of the trench warfare were drawn out. Long engagements with little process. Austrian Hungary and German armies interfere with uh, Italians. Um, the Royal Navy was not sent into the Adriatic Sea. The respective governments viewed as Adriatic was far too dangerous to operate due to concentration of the Austro Hungarian fleet there. The morale fell among Italian soldiers as they moved towards the front line. Italian government became Italian government became, became increasingly aggravated in 1915 with the passive nature of the Serbian army, which had not been engaged in a serious offensive against Austria-Hungary for months. Now, relations between Ital Italy and Serbia became so cold that no other intent members were forced to abandon the idea of forming a united Balkan front against Austria-Hungary. Cadorna proposed sending 60,000 men to the land in Thessaloniki um, to help Serbs exile in Greece in the Principality of Albania. The Russian Empire collapsed in 1917 after the Russian Revolution, eventually resulting in the rise of the communist Bolshevik regime of Vladimir Lenin. After the Battle of Caporetto in 1917, Italian forces were far, forced far back into the Italian territory. And humili and humiliation led to a revival of Vittorio Emmanuel Orlando as Prime Minister who managed to solve some of the Italians' wartime problems. Let's see who this guy is. Vittorio. This was Vittorio Emmanuel Orlando, 23rd Prime Minister of Italy, last until the end of the war. Oh, yeah, his term in office. To the end of the war. Um, he was an Italian statesman, known for representing Italy in 1919 Paris Peace Conference with the foreign minister, Sidney Sonnino. He was also known as Premier of Victory for defeating the Central Powers along with the Entente in World War I. He was also a member and president of the Constitutional Assembly that changed the Italian form of government into a republic. Aside from the prominent political role, Orlando was also known for his writings over a hundred works on legal and judicial issues. Orlando was a pros professor of law. What's intent? I don't know what intent he is. Allies of the war. These are allies that went against the central powers. Intent alliance. The French Republic. The German Empire. The Russian Empire. Belgium, Serbia, Greece, Montenegro, Romania were affiliated with the intent. Hmm. Look at all these combatants. That's a lot. Now we're going to go back to the kingdom of, of, of Italy. World War, the territorial settlements and reactions. Look at all this. This is the map of Battle of Vittorio Veneto. Look at this red line. There's a long red line. This is a big blue circle. What is the Battle of Vittorio Veneto? This was fought from October 24th to November 3rd, 1918, near Vittorio Veneto on the Italian front during World War One. The Italian victory marked the end of the war on the Italian front, secured the dissolution in the Austro-Hungarian Empire and contributed to the end of the First World War. Less than two weeks later, less than two weeks later, I fought in this battle in Battlefield, Chapter 4 or Chapter 3. I forgot which one. Italian territorial sediments and reaction. So, the Treaty of Versailles, Treaty of St. Germain, Treaty of Trenin, Treaty of Lusuane. Oh my gosh, they signed a lot of damn treaties. What's over here? 
parts of a series on fascism. Topics? No, no, no. We gotta show it all. Mussolini in the war. Benito Mussolini was forced to the Italian Socialist Party after calling the Italian intervention in Austria. Who's Benito Mussolini, you ask? This is Benito Mussolini. That's him. He was in office from 22nd to 43. He was an Italian politician, journalist, and leader of the National Fascist Party, ruling the country as prime minister from 1922 to 1943. He ruled constitutionally until 1925 when he dropped all pretense of democracy to set up a legal dictatorship known as Deus II. Mussolini was the founder of the Italian fascism. There you go. Um, anything else? World War I. Who? What happened? You all know now, right? Good. Gabriel Du Anizo, who's that? We need to know. He was, sometimes called Di Anizo, was an Italian writer, poet, journalist, playwright, and soldier during World War I. He occupied a prominent place in Italian literature from 1889 to 1910, and after the political life in 1914 to 1924, he was often referred to as under the epithets to vate the poet, or to profeta the prophet. That's who, wait, I gotta show a picture of him, if I can. So you guys know who, we, who we're talking about now. We know everything that's going on, everything that we need to know, is all there. Giovanni, Giolatia, we have a bunch of faces here. Look at all this, all this, all this, all this. History, unification process. We can't get into that just yet. Just yet, it's not it's not time yet. I'm I am looking for the guy, the Anuzio. This was him right here. He had the bald. He had that mustache right there. Let me see if I can get zoomed in. There we go, like that right there. That's a mustache. That's his eye. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. So that was the end of this video because that was everybody we just went over for the Italian World War One and everything like that. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want more, comment below. But I'm going to give you more anyway. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. It's like always stay with these same section. I'll see you guys in my next video.